Welcome back to the Swing Trader channel, everybody. Today was very interesting to me. It all started right around lunchtime, and uh, I picked up JMIA. I just so happened to be looking through some stocks on StockTwits, and I saw this, and I looked at the charts, and I liked the setup for this one. That's why I actually got in this stock. And by the time I finished my lunch and got to where I needed to go, my destination, I was about to tweet. Yeah, what you're gonna wanna do, oh, hold on a second, let me check out what my stock's doing. Saying, hey, look, I got this stock. What the fuck? You know what happened? It was too late. The thing already ran up like 50 cents. So sorry guys, I did tweet it, but it was a little bit late. So after that trade, I found another stock that was moving up, T-R-I-L. The chart set up, I mean, it's okay on this one. It's nothing really special, but the reason why I got into this stock is because it has news. And we'll go ahead and look at that news once we get into this video. So if you guys did see my post on YouTube, I'm starting to do the little thing where you can post, you know, like photos and comments and all that stuff. I was buying crab legs at Aldi last night and I was looking at Kron and I'm like, this is a pretty good setup. I like it. It might be a short squeeze coming on this we got three stocks that we're going to be looking at today with two of them in one i'm not in so if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button and smash that like button guys smash it smash it let's get right into these stocks stock we're going to be looking at here is jmia i don't know why it makes me think of jamaica whenever i see this but anyways, I saw the stock trending on StockTwit, so I went ahead and took a look at the charts. And by this time, the stock was already up about 10% on the day. But this is a setup that I like here a lot, and I've been trading this setup a couple times already. But there's nothing really fancy about it. It's just an upward trend motion here with two little humps. They kind of look like breasts. But I saw this setup, and that's basically why I got into this stock. And basically, from what people are saying about this company, it's the Amazon of Africa. Okay, that's weird. Never heard that before, but all right. So what I'm looking at now, we already broke this resistance here at 723, and our next one is going to be right about at $8.28, right around there. But then after there, if I back up, we don't really have any resistance until $11.22. So if this thing has a really good pre-market and we can break this resistance right here at $8.25, which is getting pretty close to it right now, we have a really good chance of seeing this run up to $11. And not to mention that the stock is trending right now, so there's a lot of eyes on it. So tomorrow might be pretty good on this. I just hope it's not going to be shorted to hell. But as of right now, I'm up pretty good on my position. So if it does start to drop down really hard, I can get out and still make a profit on it. And that's the key to where I don't have to hold through pain and being down and under and all that stuff. So that's, that's good. All right, now we're looking at TRIL. And this stock, I tweeted it at a pretty good time. I really didn't buy it at a good price. I bought it right around, I think it was $2.80 right around there. And then right after I bought it, it just started having a huge pullback. And I was red like immediately. But if you guys saw my tweet, you would have a good chance to buy it at a pretty good price. But even though I was red, I wasn't worried because I knew this stock had really good news. So it's probably going to be a runner tomorrow. So this isn't really big news, but it's good news. The stock basically gained compliance for the NASDAQ, which is good because you don't have to worry about going through an RS and all that other stupid stuff but this isn't really the reason why the stock ran up today the reason why the stock ran up today was because it, it has a patent that it just got approved today now i really don't know much about this patent but from what it says it treats disease disorders conditions treatable by activation i don't know what any of this stuff means i'm not a doctor but what I know is that people are going to want this new formula or whatever patent that they have. And it's good news for the stock. And that's why I got into this swing trade today was basically because of this. And being compliant to the NASDAQ, that's just icing on the cake with this. So if we're looking at the bigger picture on TRIL, the stock really does have a lot of room to run still. Sure, it's going to have like many resistance levels here and there. But the really hard resistance level that it's going to be going into is going to be right around $4.24. That's going to be the hardest one to break through. And if we look at it right now, yeah, you sure you have some resistance right around $2.95, which it bounced off of today. Or actually, that wasn't today. That was yesterday. Some things I don't like are the RSI is very overextended. So we might see some consolidation with it. But I'm really not planning on holding this that long. I might actually get rid of it tomorrow. It all depends on what happens. All right, I got Cron pulled up here, C-R-O-N. For those of you that don't know about it, which I'm sure everybody knows about it, it's a marijuana company, and it has started going up. So what I was looking for was it to pull down here, right down to the support level, just about at $7.90, but this thing could actually come back down to this trend line here right around six or seven dollars but what i'm liking about this cron trade is it could have a short squeeze pretty quickly 
As of right now, I think it's shorted about 32%. So if this thing keeps running up, it could have a really good squeeze on it. So what my game plan might be, if it hits down to the $7.90, I might scoop up a little bit and just see if it holds it. Or if it breaks through it, then I'm going to go ahead and wait and probably buy some right down around this trend line area. Probably right around $7. And I think that would give me a pretty good position in this stock. So those are my three trades that I got going on. Uh, just let me know down below in the comment section if any of you guys have any trades going on. Because I'd like to know what's going on with you guys' trades as well. So this is for the 80% of you guys that watch my videos, but you're not subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and try me out because I got some trades up the wazoo, you know. And don't forget to hit that smash like button down below and uh, let's make some money.